At the Bridge for Youth in Minneapolis, the nonprofit has spent 50 years helping runaway and homeless youth, giving them shelter and support. And our focus is on family reunification whenever safe and possible. Lisa Mears, executive director at the Bridge, says on any given night, about 6,000 Minnesota youth on their own experience homelessness. I think we can look around and see homelessness with the encampments. We can see homelessness with people on the corner asking for money or food. But I want to, I want us to imagine looking around and do we see young people who are homeless? Not often. I feel like they're, they are more hidden than um, the adults who are homeless in our community and yet they are so much more vulnerable. And Wilder Research reports about 35 percent of all homeless youth in Minnesota are also parents. Last year the Bridge for Youth opened Marlene's Place. Homeless pregnant and parenting youth are part of the transitional living program and can stay for up to 18 months. If you think about a young person who is really just trying to figure out where they're going to be from night to night with their child, um, they're not able to really think about the long-term success. Supportive housing manager Rachel Hatch says since opening last year, they've served more than 25 families. I think around 83% have moved on into their own independent living uh, market rate apartment. They've graduated high school. Um, they've gone on to college. Now the bridge is getting ready for another opening. This time it's Gloria's place, named after Gloria Siegel. She was a representative in the Minnesota House and a staunch advocate for not only women's rights, but mental health. Gloria's place will be the only emergency shelter in the state, specifically for homeless teens ages 15 to 17 who are pregnant or now parents to kids up to three years old. And there just hasn't really been a shelter to meet their unique needs. Molly McInerney, emergency services manager, says programming is centered around those needs. The goal is to provide them a safe space to process next steps. Teens can stay here for up to 90 days. That will be one of the goals is to really help them just focus on what supports you already have and where do you want to go next. Gloria's place will have up to six beds, but because of COVID, they're starting with four, so each person has their own room. Furniture is being built and beds will soon go in. With Gloria's place opening August 17th. Our youth here at the bridge are um, extremely vulnerable. When we think about parent, parenting youth, it becomes that much more important that we have a space where they can come to for immediate shelter, food, getting them on a path, a journey um, to that next step in their lives important project and if you would like to help they do have a registry set up at Target to help make Gloria's place feel like home. They're also looking for artists willing to donate their time and transform some of their spaces.